Turning now to the moon, the full moon on September 17th is a supermoon, meaning it's just a little bit closer to Earth in its orbit than your average full moon. It looks ever so slightly bigger and brighter, though in practice the difference is hard to see. It really is super, though, as the September full moon is often called the Harvest Moon, given its association with harvest time in the Northern Hemisphere. Plus, it's going to show us a partial lunar eclipse. You'll see a little bite taken out of one side of the moon over about an hour. Check the timing of the eclipse for your local area using your favorite sky-watching app or website. In Europe, the eclipse takes place in the early morning hours, while in the US, it's in the evening, and that's while the moon's rising for the West Coast. As for moon-planet pair-ups, the moon leads Saturn across the sky on the 16th. Look for the pair in the southeastern sky following sunset. For those in the US, the pair will appear very close together early the next morning on the 17th as they get lower in the western sky. In fact, those in the western half of the US can actually watch the moon start to occult or pass in front of Saturn before they set. On the 22nd, the moon rises a couple of hours after dark, sitting super close to the Pleiades. And this is kind of a special pairing if you're in the U.S., as the moon will actually pass right through the Pleiades over the course of the night. So if you have binoculars or a small telescope, you can look periodically over the course of the night as the moon crosses directly in front of the bright star cluster. On the 23rd, the moon rises in the late evening hours with giant Jupiter. They climb high into the southeast sky as dawn approaches. And then on the morning of the 25th, the crescent moon appears near Mars. This last full week of September is really lovely before the sky brightens as you have the moon and two bright planets together with the bright stars of the winter constellations. So don't miss it.